Zen San has started a single eyeshadow collection tag, and here is my collection. So if you haven't met Zen Sun, I will link her channel down below or up in the cards. I think it'll pop out on this side. Maybe I'll get it right this time. She started a beautiful tag with eight questions. And here's my single eyeshadow collection. And her first question is, do you prefer buying single eyeshadows or palettes? I'm on a no buy year and I haven't really purchased any new makeup for myself in quite some time but I did have a huge birthday pass and I did have a law school graduation and my friends and family asked me what I wanted and I put down makeup. Maybe that broke my no buy rules, maybe not. I think Hannah would hold my feet to the fire and say that it did but I want to play in the beauty community and I really didn't have that much and I still don't as you will see. I was subscribed to BoxyCharm I had prepaid for a subscription for a few months and my last month is coming now and through that my collection has grown. But to answer this question, do I prefer single eyeshadows or palettes? I prefer palettes. I like the way palettes look aesthetically in my drawer. I like that the color story of the palette seems to work out no matter what you do. I'm, I enjoy palettes more than single eyeshadows. However, I do have a few crown jewels that are in my singles, and we'll get to those soon. When did you start buying single shadows, and what got you into them? I didn't start buying single eyeshadows on my own. I asked for them as gifts because I wanted to play in the YouTube beauty community. I'm new to the new community, and I absolutely love it. And I found some influencers that have influenced me. Hannah Louise Poston is one, and Mia's Virtual Vanity is another. Mia's Virtual Vanity got me to ask for Nabla eyeshadows, and I received them as a gift from my mom, which was super sweet of her. She actually basically ordered everything <laughs> that I had put on the list when she asked me, what do you want? You know, give me some ideas. And so I'm like, okay, let's, you know, I'd like to try ColourPop. These Nabla eyeshadows look amazing. I'd like these. And uh, she ordered them, and I have two Nabla eyeshadows, duochromes, that we'll get to soon. That's another one of her questions that are just stunning, and those are because of Mia's virtual vanity. Her question three is, what are your favorite brands and formulas? I don't think I have a favorite brand yet. I haven't really run into a brand that gets me going, although I have a lot of color pop. I've been enjoying most of the brands that I received from my BoxyCharm subscription and as gifts. Like I've, I'm, I'm really enjoying the brands, the, all the brands. I would love to find a brand that didn't use plastic and that was environmentally conscious and had an ethical supply chain. I'd love to find one of those brands. I haven't found one in the eyeshadow community yet. It's there. I'm sure it's there. I just haven't found it. But what my favorite formula is are the duochromes. Oh, the duochromes, those got me going. And I first learned of duochromes on Hannah Louise Poston's channel and then continued to learn about them from Mia's Virtual Vanity. And so in my, I have this palette that this palette came from Amazon. I think that's where my mom found this. And I have a few ColourPop duochromes in here and I have two duochromes, my Nabla my Nabla shadows here and if you'd like to see a swatch I can swatch them and so here we go tea garden look at that what glass bowl oh so beautiful and then snake eyes is a copper color and it has like it's a it's a copper color with a purple shift like look at these just look 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 oh my gosh and I found of I learned of these I found these through Hannah Louise Poston and Mia's Virtual Vanity amazing duochromes are my favorite formula just I mean just look just 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 look I could sit here all day and just shift oh so pretty. If you could only pick three singles, what would they be? 
I kind of just answered that question. I picked four. Uh, oh no, I picked three. Well, I picked the three duochromes from ColourPop, but let me show you the duochromes from Nabla. They're freaking phenomenal. So these are my definitely two of my crown jewels. And then picking the third from the ColourPop duochromes is going to be really difficult. But I think I know what it is. All right, so my two Nabla shadows are Alchemy, which is this guy, and Absinthe which is this guy. And so let me swatch these guys. And so let me swatch these guys. Pardon my scratches. I was in the garden gardening and the bush, the bush did not like me trimming it. It let me know. All right. So let's start with absinthe. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. I kind of took a lot of it. It doesn't apply this cakey, but if you can see the shift, turn my light. Look at that. Look at that shift. Oh, so beautiful. And I believe that's alchemy. So the first one, so this one is absinthe and this one is alchemy. Oh, so pretty. Those are two of my crown jewels. And if I had to pick a third, it would be one of the, the ColourPop Duo Chromes. And I think I would pick Snake Eyes, which is this guy down here. I don't know if my camera is doing this justice. Snake Eyes is, looks golden looks pewterish it's a pewterish color in the the pan and it's got like a purpley pink shift with a little bit of blue sparkle in it it is so pretty so my three crown jewels are nabla absinthe nabla alchemy and color pop snake eyes love 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 just look like i want to put it all on my eyes at once i want to put it all all of it What brand of singles do you want to try? I'd like to know what all the hype is about some of these really expensive brands like Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've, I don't understand it. Like nobody can tell what brand of shadow you have on your eyes, right? Have you ever had someone come up to you and say, oh, you're wearing the blah, blah, blah brand, the Marc Jacobs brand that costs this much money. Or, oh, are you wearing the Tom Ford palette, blah, blah, blah? Nobody can tell, right, what the brand is of the color that you're wearing. I'd like to try one from one of these very expensive brands to see what all the hype is, to see if it performs differently than the ones I have. What if any are some of the single color gaps that you have? I don't feel like I have any color gaps anywhere because I have about eight other palettes that I've received through BoxyCharm and gifts from friends. I have everything from Peachy Queen, this Peachy Queen palette that's very pretty. Uh, my friends watch my YouTube channel and they know that I had been talking about Peachy Queen. They saw me comment actually on someone's video about a Peachy Queen palette and then I got this and look like I have all of those colors I have glitters I have the pure pro palette with all sorts of neutrals I don't think I could ask for another neutral my singles collection here these are all from one palette and I depotted them I don't remember what palette they're from I've had this for quite some time Maybe it was the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. These three here I've had for probably 10 years. Uh, these are, I don't know if they're CoverGirl or Wet n Wild. So 
So I've got purples, I've got browns, I've got duochromes, and then I received this color pop palette from a friend. And I've got greens, I've got blues, I've got yellows, I've got reds and oranges. I've got an Ace Beauty palette that came in a boxy charm box. This is all sorts of warm reds and pinks. I received the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette, and this has purples and blues, and it even comes with um, blushes. I received the Pure Festival palette in a boxy charm, and it has pinks and purples and glitters and oranges and browns, neutral shades, transition shades, glitters I'm afraid to try. <laughs> because I think it'll end up all over my face. Uh, I received the Morphe Brunch palette in a boxy charm, and again, this is pinks and purples, blacks. I think I have, I think I have everything, and if I don't have it, I don't need it. Oh, I missed my, some of my other singles. So I received this um, ColourPop Super Shock Under the Sea as a gift. Love this color, because it's, it's mermaidy, right? So. Um, with my red hair, it's an aerial. I got this and uh, the guppy lipstick as a gift. Love this. And then I have two liquid eyeshadows, right? These are both eyeshadows, right? Yep. Uh, and these are from BoxyCharm. I love the color. I, I'm a huge fan of coppers, anything copper. This is absolutely beautiful. And I tried this pink one once. And I think I put too much of it on, but let's swatch these if you haven't seen them. So this is the Cupid, and if you guys are watching people unbox things from BoxyCharm, I'm sure you've seen it a million times. It's very pretty. And then this is the, the copper color. Really beautiful. I also received a nude stick copper foil in one of my boxy charms. I love this. If anyone knows how to sharpen this, would you tell me how to do that? How do you sharpen this? How do you how do you adjust this kind of a packaging? The bottom doesn't twist. I actually don't know what'll happen when I've used up this nub. Is that it? Is that all the eyeshadow that you get is in the nub and the rest of this is just to hold? Tell me about that if if you know. And I have one palette that I have to leave flat on my vanity. I can't store it upright with everything else because the shadows are falling out of it. And it, I'm afraid to tip it. Um, Sandman jumped out of its case and onto my floor. Very soft shadow. Beautiful. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love, love this shadow. And I'm sad that it, it decided that it wanted to live in my carpet. But I've got dark purples, I've got another duo chrome, the earth shine is really beautiful. I have, I think I have every other, every color I can imagine. This pretty cruel color is awesome. Awesome, I absolutely love this color. So I don't think that I am missing any colors in my eyeshadow collection as a whole. I also use my bronzers and blushes and any other kind of powder makeup that I have to fill in a gap if I have it, but I really haven't found that I, I have a gap. How many single eyeshadows do you have? I have 36. I counted them. So I have this palette, these color pop ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in this palette. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 in this palette. And then these three. These two liquid ones and the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Does your single eyeshadow collection lean towards a certain color family or is one color 
overrepresented? If so, what it is, is it? That's a wonderful question. I've never thought about my single eyeshadow that way, my single eyeshadow collection that way. Is one color overrepresented? I think I just got the liquid color, the liquid, the liquid eyeshadow on my shirt. Is one color overrepresented? So here are my two shadow, my two single palettes. I see the browns the nudes, but those all came from one palette. So I don't even know if they count as a single collection because it wasn't really a single collection. I've just de de -pan de potted them and popped them into this so that I could save space in my drawer. If one color is overrepresented, I think I would just say browns. I would say browns is overrepresented. Otherwise, everything else is pretty diverse. My friend that sent this to me really did a beautiful job. If you haven't heard of Zensan, go over and check her out and show us your single eyeshadow collection. Take a moment to play with your makeup and swatch your favorites. And as you live the dream this week, I hope that you be the change that you want to see. And rock on.